Hi guys, welcome back. It is a beautiful day to be outside, so that is exactly where we're going to be today. I'm gonna to be showing you two thrift flip ideas. That's four. Two thrift flip ideas, as well as one cute and affordable outdoor lighting idea. So let's get started. Our first thrift flip is taking this metal rack that I thrifted a couple of months ago that you guys may have seen in my outdoor decor, thrifted outdoor decor video. So we are taking this typical inside decorative item and using it outside. And the goal here is to really just add some extra organization and storage for me for some of my gardening tools, as well as just really making this piece of the fence look pretty. All right, and for tools like this that have a little hole for me to be able to put something through it so we can hang it up, I'm just gonna use some twine, which I, thought I had some regular twine but I can't find it but I do have this wired twine which that will do just fine and we'll just make a little piece so we can loop through there and be able to hang. And our second thrift flip is this beautiful dish that I did show to you guys a couple of weeks ago in my vintage and thrifted home decor haul. There's the dish and there is actually a broken bird bath that I had saved the pedestal from last year and I've mentioned it before. I love this color so much so it kind of made me sad to use it and know that I was going to be changing the color but you know what it was broken and I really wasn't gonna be finding anything blue to go on the top and it just was gonna work perfect for this project so we are working with what we have and I had this I am using this rust-oleum texture spray I tried to get a close-up here so you guys can see the texture that it had and Looking back, I may have used a regular color first and then put the texture on, but I just rolled with it and this is what it looked like after a couple of coats. And then here it is dried and as you can see, there's a little bit of imperfections, but I didn't mind that since the dish itself looks a little weathered and also has different colors. It also has a little bit of gold, which I was trying to pick up here so that way you can see. I wasn't super satisfied with the way the base was looking, so I remembered that I have this really pretty metallic color called Champagne Bronze, and I figured if I just did a little bit of that, maybe I could achieve what I was wanting. Our next step is to attach the dish to the base, and for this, I'm going to be using this Gorilla Glue. I made sure and applied a lot, so that way I would be sure that the dish won't come off. There we have our beautiful bird bath. And if you guys ever want to give the bees a drink, this is how you do it. I had these little glass beads that I'm just adding into the water so that way they have a nice little spot to land and get some water. All right, we have made it to our lovely lighting idea. This green garden stake is from Lowe's for $1.48 and this bucket and it's a little mini bucket citronella candle was from walmart for only 98 cents i didn't mind the color but i figure i have this 
tan spray paint, so why don't I make it match the rest of my outdoor decor by spraying it? I also sprayed the green garden steak black and voila, it is as easy as that, you guys. We are just hanging this adorable little bucket candle onto the steak. Mm -hmm. 